Saudi Arabia is about to construct a brand new $200 billion city in the desert. On October 24th, 2017, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced Neom, a $500 billion planned smart city in northwest Saudi Arabia near the borders of Egypt and Jordan. The city would cover 26.5 thousand square kilometers. It would serve as a tourist destination and economic hub, helping to shift Saudi Arabia's economy away from fossil fuels. It would be powered by renewable energy and would feature advanced technology, including artificial intelligence, biotechnology, countless robots, flying taxis, and maybe even holograms, an artificial moon, and glow-in-the-dark beaches. After its release in 2017, Saudi Arabia began preparation for the project. In early 2018, contracts were awarded for a royal palace in Neom. Then, in January 2019, Saudi Arabia announced a state-owned joint stock company with the purpose of developing the city. Five months later, the Neom Bay Airport was finished and received its first flight. In July 2020, Saudi Arabia signed contracts with the Saudi telecom company STC for a 5G network. It also signed contracts with the American company Air Products and Saudi company ACWA Power to build a $5 billion green hydrogen plant. In August 2020, Saudi Arabia's king visited the finished palace, which includes an 18-hole golf course and countless villas. Meanwhile, the American company Bechtel was awarded a contract for the project's construction management. In September 2020, the American engineering firm ACOM was appointed to design the city's backbone infrastructure, and two Saudi companies were awarded contracts for the construction village. Lastly, in October 2020, the company Red Sea International was awarded another major contract. However, despite all these deals, construction on the main city had not begun. Then, after three years of planning, on January 10th, 2021, the Saudi Crown Prince announced the first phase of the Neo Megacity, called The Line. The Line will be a band-shaped city spanning 170 kilometers through Neo, starting from the coast, stretching through the desert and mountains, and ending in the region's upper valley. It will be a belt of individual city modules connected by infrastructure. These modules will have a futuristic urban design composed of three layers. The pedestrian layer will be a continuous landscape of buildings surrounded by green areas with no cars and no streets. This will ensure a green living environment with no pollution or traffic accidents. It will be webbed with walkways, bike paths, and sustainable food production facilities. Its design will ensure that all daily needs are within a five minute walk. Beneath all this will be the service layer, a hidden layer of infrastructure that will transport goods, enable technology, and power the city. Lastly, on the bottom will be the spine layer, which will have tunnels with high-speed trains, a metro, and AI-controlled passenger vehicles. This transportation will allow the entire city to be traversed in only 20 minutes. The line will be split among four distinct ecologies, with an average temperature 10 degrees Celsius or 18 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than the rest of Saudi Arabia. The first will be the coastal sector, which will serve as a tourist destination with beautiful beaches, islands, and nature reserves. The second will be the coastal desert, which will serve as a major transport crossroads for the city and a solar generation center. The third will be the mountains, which will be the least developed and populated, but will serve as a center for hiking, climbing, and extreme sports. Lastly, the upper valley will have wind turbines and supply chain and logistics connections to the nearby city of Tabuk and the rest of Saudi Arabia. The line will be monitored by artificial intelligence. According to Neom, 90% of available data will be utilized by AI to improve transport efficiency, cleanliness, security, water management, and many other systems. The city's water will come from desalination plants. 
In January 2020, Neom signed a deal with the UK-based company Solar Water PLC to build the world's first ever solar dome desalination plant. Finally, the city will be environmentally friendly. It will run entirely on solar panels and wind farms, and its buildings, by having lots of plants, will be carbon positive, meaning that they will actually net absorb CO2. Meanwhile, the city's design will protect 95% of the region's nature. When finished, the line will host 1 million people and will cost 100 to 200 billion US dollars, around one third of Neom's total cost. This money will come from the Saudi Arabia Sovereign Wealth Fund, along with international investors. The line will create 380,000 new jobs, adding 180 billion Saudi rials, or $48 billion, to the country's nominal GDP by 2030. That is a 6% increase from its GDP in 2019. The city will be within a four-hour flight from 40% of the world's population and will sit right along one of the world's busiest shipping routes, making it a strategic trade hub. Lastly, it will serve as a feat of human technology and engineering, as part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 program. However, despite its grand visions, the project has several issues. First of all, because the city is a long, narrow band, locations will naturally be further apart. Even with high-speed transportation, this is inefficient. In addition, the city will traverse directly through mountains, forcing it to be split in two. Furthermore, some people are concerned about the large amount of AI sensors and face-detecting cameras impeding on citizens' privacy. Moreover, with it being so expensive, there are concerns that the city will only be accessible to the wealthy, increasing inequality. Not to mention, many people believe the project is too ambitious. Will one million people really move to a sparsely populated region of desert in northwest Saudi Arabia? On top of all this, some believe the money could be better spent elsewhere, for example on improving Saudi Arabia's already existent cities. Lastly, the city will displace thousands of native people. There have already been forced evictions, and in April 2020, an activist was killed, raising humanitarian concerns. Despite these issues, the city is planned to start construction in the first quarter of 2021, and be finished over the coming years. After this, the larger Neom megacity will rise from the desert. According to Neom CEO Nadmi al nazar the majority of master plans for this larger city will be announced in 2021. If completed, the line will be a high-tech metropolis, the most expensive planned city in history. It could become a global tourism, technology, and trade hub, helping decrease Saudi Arabia's dependence on fossil fuels. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you like and subscribe for more videos very similar to this one. Also, remember to check out the comments and join the conversation. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.